Hello everybody and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Moldy Worm4975 and today we're going to be checking out a brand new GTA DLC concept made by myself and Lucifer Reap. So yeah, before we get into this, I just want to say that this is obviously a concept not just made by myself, it is on my Amino page, um, I will leave a link to it in the description below if you'd like to read through it for yourself, but I'm going to be doing that in this video anyway. Um, but it is also made by Lucifer Reap, it was actually his initial concept, uh, and I just helped him work on it, and we decided to put it on my Amino page. But it is mainly Lucifer's concept, um, I just sort of helped him. Uh, but let's actually check it out. Here it is, it's called the Rockford Plaza update, and it is a concept, I want to stress this. A few of the concepts I've reviewed in the past... Um, people get really angry at me for saying, uh, is this actually a concept or is this real? It is a concept. Um, so this is not actually coming to GT Online, it's just something that could potentially come to GT Online. So this concept was a collaboration between Lucifer Reap, um, whose DLC reviews uh, we've looked at in the past. Um, I will also leave Lucifer's Instagram down below if you want to go and check out his Instagram page. He posts quite a lot of cool detail DLC concepts on there and stuff that he does. Um, so definitely go check him out. And myself, Moldy Worm Gaming. So this concept revolves around the renovation and grand reopening of the Rockford Plaza. With a new interior to freely explore along with the opening of multiple stores within the plaza to now shop from and hang out in. Is a place for hipsters and the most upper class people to share. And then I just made this very quick uh, fan art here. Um, we've got one of the new cars down here, which we'll see later on. This is inside the new Rockfoot Plaza. Um, so you'll be able to actually go inside the Rockfoot Plaza and shop around. This is the outside of the Rockfoot Plaza that you can see um, in game right now. So, this concept would add a newly renovated Rockford Plaza, new stores, new emotes, new clothing, a new purchasable property, new plaza activities, and of course, new cars. So, the introduction and exterior renovations. The Rockford Plaza undertook a massive reconstruction with construction materials and machines popping up everywhere. After Vincent, the former manager of the Diamond Casino and Resort was fired. He made his own plans and took over as manager of the Rockford Plaza. He decided, like the casino, it was time to modernise the look and feeling of the building with new renovations and exclusive new stores to shop at. He brought in multiple new stores and entertainment centres for shoppers. The outside also underwent some drastic new changes, adding in an underground parking lot, um, which I've actually got a photo of here. Um, this would be the entrance here to the new underground parking lot. This already exists in the game. Um, I'm sure many of you know where this is, but for those who don't, uh, basically this little bit of road here is the jump towards the LSC in the middle of the city. And this uh, building sort of here that it goes into is the actual Rockford Plaza. Um, but it just happened that we already had this road here and there is a garage door here. So I thought this would be perfect for the underground car park entrance. So there we go. Um, where shoppers can safely store their prides and joy without fear of being blown up. So basically it's just somewhere safe to keep your car. So you don't have to park it outside and some person on an oppressor comes and blows it up. Uh, some visual changes to the exterior of the building, like a new sign out front, a large neon sign that says Rockford Plaza. Um, and then 
Players travelling by subway can directly access the plaza to alleviate any fear of being shot down outside the front door. They would also be able to enter slash exit via multiple fire escapes around the plaza. So there wouldn't be one entrance to the plaza. Um, you could enter through the underground car park if you're arriving by car. Um, there'd be multiple entrances all around the building if you want to enter by foot. Um, and also the subway actually runs directly underneath the Rockford Plaza, so you could come on the subway and enter through there. Not that a lot of people um, use the subway in GT Online, but we thought it would be quite a cool idea. Then, renovations. The Rockford Plaza underwent heavy construction for the last couple of months, with cranes seen on the roof and a massive skylight windows ready to be installed. As time goes on, players will start to see storage containers showing up around the old parking lot. These containers have big brand logos displayed on the side, like iFruit, Ammunition, Legendary Motorsport and Suburban, as well as multiple new fast food chains like Burger Shop and Cluckin' Bell. And uh, This is a picture of the actual real-life version of the Rockford Plaza. Um, so it's not actually called the Rockford Plaza in real life, but um, there is actually a real um, shopping centre in Los Angeles, and this is a snapshot of the interior of it. Um, so this is potentially what it could look like, because we do know that Rockstar like to follow um, the real life versions, like they did with the Diamond Casino and Resort. Um, that was actually a real building that you could find in Los Angeles, um, until they made the new Diamond Casino and Resort, which is actually not a real building, but there we go. Um, so they may completely remove the Rockford Plaza and rebuild it if this ever got added to GT Online, like they did with the casino. Um, but basically all this renovations bit is saying is, like when we had the casino, um, there was like multiple construction um, equipment that started appearing around the casino, so we knew that something was going to happen there. Um, it's basically like that, it's like a little tease to say, hey, the Rockford Plaza is getting updated. Um, so there we go. And then, new stores. Uh, with the opening of the new mini mall, multiple businesses rush to get their hands on a new storefront property to sell their products. So, the first store is Ammunition. Remember we said the Rockford Plaza was a place for everyone? Well, that means gun lovers as well. A brand new ammunition store has opened inside the plaza where you can purchase two exclusive new weapons not available in any other store. The flamethrower and the railgun. Uh, these are two weapons that I think a lot of people would like in GT Online and it would be quite um, it would be a good incentive for people to go and visit the new Rockford Plaza. If it's even if it's just to get these two new guns, the railgun we already have in GT Online, the flamethrower has been in previous GTA titles, but we don't have it in the new GTA um, game or in GTA 5. Uh, the store also has a shooting arena, not to be confused with a shooting range. This is a small PVE area and is the perfect place for you to try out your new weapons in a realistic environment without fear of being arrested by the LSPD. So this would kind of be like a paintball arena, but that you could use live ammunition in, and this would be inside the new ammunition store. Um, basically you'd go into sort of like a mini game, um, there'd be like targets that drop down from the ceiling and pop up behind sandbags and things and move around, and basically you could uh, shoot them and sort of like practice your shooting skills. So it's kind of like a gun practice area, which I think would be quite nice. We don't really have anything like that in GT Online. Um, there's a new legendary motorsport um, um, garage, which you can see a picture of here. This is actually just the um, Mercedes AMG um, showroom. Um, but this is potentially what it could look like. Um, we all know that shopping online is great, but sometimes you physically want to see the product you are buying before you have to sell a kidney to buy it. That's why Legendary Motorsport now has a new store where you can see their 
the new rides that hit Los Santos before you commit. You can also hop inside and check out what customization options are available before you take it to the Los Santos Customs. Uh, so basically, um, all the new cars that are drip fed into GT Online will be displayed in this store. So all of the day one release vehicles will be in here for you to walk around and see in, in real life and not just a picture on the store. So before you buy, you can actually decide whether you like the look of the car. Um, but also, um, you'll be able to actually go inside the car, like get in it, um, see the interior of the car, and also it will show you what customization is available for it. So you won't actually be able to customize it here, um, but you can take a look at what spoiler options, skirt options, exhaust, etc. are available. Because um, I don't know about any of you guys, but something I like to do before I buy a car is actually make sure it has some good customization. Um, and a lot of the times I have to go on YouTube and watch a customization video um, to see what it has available. So it'd be nice to just go here, you can hop in the car and see what it has before you actually decide to buy it. And yeah, that's like a potential picture of the showroom. Then there's the iFruit store, which is supposed to be like... GTA's version of Apple, uh, so it says, tired of walking around with the same phone in your pocket since 2013? Well, fear no more. There is finally an iFruit store near you. You can purchase not just new phones, but all kinds of tech in your day to help you in your daily life, like the new iFruit tablet loaded with the Open Road and SecuroServe apps to help you run your business on the fly. Um, so basically, um, you'd be able to buy new phones here. Um, so I think this is something you can do in um, GTA single player. Um, a lot of the GTA single player characters, they have different phones. Um, I'm not sure if you can actually buy different phones, but I know you can customize them to a certain extent. Um, so that's basically what this is here. It would be nice to sort of swap your phone. Um, but then you could also buy like the new tablet, which I'm sure Rockstar would price very highly. Um, but basically you'd have all of the um, business apps, so like the SecuroServe for um, sourcing new vehicles and new uh, special cargo. And the Open Road app for the biker businesses. It would be basically like the Terabyte tablet. Um, but you could just have it like in your pocket, like your phone, and you can just sort of walk around with it. So you don't actually have to have like a terabyte and drive it around. Um, you can basically just whip out your tablet whenever you want and uh, just launch your businesses from there. Uh, but that's not all. Uh, you can also buy new phone designs, so basically just new phones. Or you can customize your old one with new apps like the Righteous Slaughter 7. That is a um, law-friendly game in GT Online. I know there's a few games in the in uh, GT Online, but you can't actually play any of them. Um, so it would add like mini games that you could actually play. Um, I'm sure they'd add like Cross the Line and some of the other mini games that you can play on the TV in like your apartment and things. Um, uh, you can also buy fancy new phone cases and even delete or block annoying contacts. So this is something that I think a lot of people would like to see. Um, the ability to block contacts. Um, you know, you're always getting phone calls from like Ron or um, I don't know, L LJT. Um, you're always getting annoying phone calls from people like that. It would be nice if you could just block them or you could completely delete the contact if you don't ever want to use any of them. Uh, then we've got the Suburban store. This is the clothing stores in GT Online. Everybody knows that what you wear says a lot about who you are. That's why Suburban has a brand new line of exclusive new clothing options not available in any other store. Existing clothing options are also available for purchase. Uh, so you can buy all the normal clothes you can in the other stores, but there'd also be some clothing options that you can't buy in the other stores. And again, we did this as just like an incentive for people to actually go and visit the brand new um, 
plaza. Uh, but that's not all. They also have a catwalk for you to show off your new clothes to needy onlookers wishing they could be you. Um, I think this would be quite cool. Um, we tried to cater this DLC to everybody. We've added some new cars, some new guns. We've added like apps and stuff on phones. Um, but a big part of GT Online is actually the clothing scene. Quite a lot of people um, like the clothing in GT Online. And it would be actually really cool if there was a catwalk. For you to show off your clothes um, to other players because um, I know when a new DLC drops quite a lot of people like to go and make new outfits uh, using the new clothing um, but there's not really anywhere really good to take photos so it'd be awesome to have like a catwalk and you could actually like walk up and down the catwalk um, similar to like the catwalk they have in the vanilla unicorn or something but obviously without the stripper pole, um, it would be just like a normal catwalk. Then we have uh, Plaza Activities, as well as the many new shops that have opened, the Rockford Plaza is also a place to hang out with friends and enjoy a drink or two. There are multiple new areas where you can, buy, where you can play some mini games, watch TV or drive some dodgems. So Bahama Mamas. A brand new chain of Bahama Mamas has just opened inside the Rockford Plaza. You can boogie on the dance floor or hang out at the bar and sip some cocktails while you listen to your favourite tunes. And I actually thought of this one um, when I was thinking of some stuff to put inside the new Rockford Plaza. Uh, the new sort of activities. I was thinking what would be something really cool that people would like to go and visit. And then I remembered the Bahama Mamas, uh, when we were supposedly getting the nightclub DLC, everyone thought they were going to open up Bahama Mamas uh, near the pier, and it never happened. Uh, but Rockstar have actually made an interior for Bahama Mamas, but they've never used it. So it would be really cool if they had a Bahama Mamas inside the new um, plaza, and they could use that unused interior. And this is a picture of that unused interior. Um, you can actually find mods um, where you can walk around in here. And they have like a proper disco dance floor with lights and everything. There's a proper bar area as you can see. Um, but if you just Google this, you can find quite a lot of pictures of it. But that is just one picture I found. Then we've got the arcade. Um, so I imagine this would look similar to the player arcades. Um, but it would have a few different things inside of it. So if you're not a go-getting alcoholic who likes to party, then maybe the arcade is more up your street. With multiple existing arcade games to play, as well as snooker, air hockey, darts, and shoot the hoop. It's a basketball mini game. This is the place to be. So it would add, obviously, these uh, new things into the game. Um, but it would also have basically the other arcade games that we have in our player arcades. They would be in here as well. Um, and there would also be probably a bit of a bar area similar to in our own arcades. And then we have the dodgems. If you're a bit of a thrill seeker, then maybe the new dodgems are what you're looking for. Play with up to 10 friends in this new bumper cars style minigame. Or just stand on the sideline and watch as your friends get a cheap concussion. Um, so this would just be like a little dodgems arena. Um, you'd go into a sort of separate lobby. Um, you'd basically you'd like join a new job. And you'd be in the dodgems. And you'd probably like drive around for about 5 minutes. And then it would stop. And it would kick you back into the normal GT Online session. And we've got the Liberty Bowling Alley. Fancy a spot of bowling? Well, the new Liberty Bowling Alley is the place to go, complete with murals that will remind you of good old Liberty City. You can rent a lane and play against friends or NPCs, or head to the practice lane for a solo experience. Or if you're just there to watch, you can always grab a bite to eat or drink at the snack bar. And you can also win special prizes for completing bowling challenges, including the new Liberty Bowling t-shirt. So this was uh, thought up by Lucifer, a really nice addition, I think. Um, basically, um, yeah, you'd be able to go bowling in GT Online. 
and if you completed certain bowling activities like uh, if you got a strike or a spare or something like that um, if you got so many of those in a row then you'd unlock special rewards like new t-shirts new clothing items um, probably some new jewelry and things so that's really cool uh, we've got the tattoo parlor uh, that's right you can now get exclusive new tattoos only available inside the rockford plaza with many new with many different options to choose from it will be hard to walk out with having without having a body part not covered with some new ink then we have new fast food restaurants so this would be like if you go to a mall in gt online if you go to a mall in real life sorry um, there's often some like fast food restaurants um, either they're like a burger king or a mcdonald's or something so it would be similar to that again this is a mod that i found online of a um, clucking bell fast food restaurant so you'd be able to sit down with your friends and like eat a meal if you want to um, it just says if you're out for a bite to eat then maybe you can try the new fast food restaurants including burger shop Clucking Bell and the Well Stacked Pizza Company. Whatever you fancy, there is something for everyone. And this is what the new Clucking Bell one could look like, and there'd be one for Burger Shot and also for Well Stacked Pizza Co. Then we get onto the purchasable property. Um, we know Rockstar love to add purchasable properties into all their uh, DLCs, so they would definitely add one in here. It says, tired of robbing banks, moving illicit goods and blowing shit up? Well, Vincent has some vacancies for you to open your very own store inside the Rockfoot Plaza. Go to the new Rockfoot Plaza website and under storefronts, there will be an option to lease your very own store. You will pay Vincent a daily fee for leasing the store, but you can make money from the store by restocking it with supplies, selling goods to customers, or getting NPCs to do the all the work, but this will decrease your profits. So I thought, you know, a lot of people will probably want to own a store in here, and I'm sure that um, there'd be like a sleeping quarters in the back of the store, so if you want to spawn inside the Rockford Plaza, you can do. Um, but I don't think a lot of people want to stand behind the till and serve customers in GTN line. So you could uh, pay NPCs to do all the work, um, but you could do the resupply thing. So you'd go out into GT Online, get some supplies, bring them back. Um, or you, again, you can just pay an NPC to go and get the supplies for you. Um, there is also interior customization as well as exterior to make your store stand out from the competition. Um, so you basically be able to own different stores. Um, I think I did forget to put that in here. Uh, so if Lucifer, if you're watching this, I apologize, I forgot to put this in here. Um, but basically you'd be able to own various different types of stores. So you could have a Los Santos custom store, you could have a grocery store, you could have a new fast food store, you could have an arcade store. There'd be like multiple to choose from and you'd have, you know, like various interior um, paint options and lighting and then on the outside you'll be able to choose from different like signage and things and what like mannequins you have in the window and stuff and this is just another mod that I found of potentially what it could look like inside this is like what the grocery store could look like and we have the Los Santos Lottery scratch cards uh, now available at local convenience stores uh, so these are the stores that you can rob um, scratch cards. You can buy various levels of scratch cards ranging from small winnings to massive payouts, vehicles and even houses. However, it is a gamble. The more lucrative the prize, the less chance there is of winning it. So you basically go into a store, you buy a scratch card and then you can scratch it off and if you win, you could win like, I don't know, $10 in GTA Online. Um, or if you're very very lucky you could actually win like a house or even a vehicle so I think that'd be quite cool um, but like it says here the more lucrative the prize the less chance there is of winning it so it's very unlikely that people will win um, like special vehicles and things but it is possible 
Then we get to my favourite bit of any DLC, um, the cars, and it says, of course, if you're going to visit a brand new mini mall, then you're going to need a brand new ride. Luckily, there is a couple of new cars coming to Los Santos very soon. We have the Scheisse PMP 600, the Chrysler 300 in real life, the Anus Golden Cloud, the Rolls-Royce Silver Shadow, which was the one we saw on the fan art at the very top of the page. We have the Canis Falcon, which is the Jeep Trackhawk SUV, the Progen Fastwing, based on the McLaren Speedtail, the Vapid Uranus from GTA 4, which is based on a Mustang Foxbody, we have the Vapid Sanking Julie. We got the Coil Siren based on the Tesla Model S. And the Dundiri T10 based on the 1996 Chevrolet C10 Stepside. And then we have a picture here of the PMP600 if you want to see what that looks like. Then we have new emotes. We got the clipboard. The character will pull out a clipboard and check off boxes. And then we have the wrench flip. The character will pull out a wrench and toss and catch it. And then we've got a little bit of a conclusion. I'm not going to read this bit. If you want to pause the video here and read it yourself, you can do. Um, but that is the end of the DLC concept. Um, if you want to support us on social media, Lucifer's Instagram is here. I will also link it in the description. And my YouTube channel, which you're watching this video on right now. If you want to support us, um, please subscribe. That would be awesome. Um, but that is it for the concept. Uh, the brand new um, Rockford Plaza DLC. I hope you did enjoy having a look at this DLC concept with me. Uh, let us know in the comments if this is something you'd like to see in GTA Online. And uh, if you want to go and check out this page for yourself, as I said earlier, I will leave a link in the description. And if you could share this with Rockstar, then it is possible we may get something like this in the future. Uh, but that's going to do it for this video. Thanks all so much for watching. Hope you did enjoy. And I'll see you in the next video.